and we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's Cooking. My name is Johan Kutsia and I have the distinct pleasure, honor and privilege to be joined by Mr. Gernot de Klerk, uh, spokesperson for NetBank to Mobile. Sir, how are you doing today? Fantastically well and I think the pleasure is the other way around. It's certainly our distinct pleasure to be speaking to you and uh, let me just say at the start of, of, our, of our little chat, uh, Johan, uh, the team NMH, uh, I mean, well done. You're transforming the landscape for media, you trailblazers um, and you know the fact that you're here to cover the most iconic local cycling races. Excellent. Thank you. It's such a privilege, uh, like, uh, and it's a, pre a, pl a pleasure and a privilege because, I mean, uh, NetBank, NMH, both ends, Namibia, it's all, you know, it's, 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 upper, it's upper echelon. So, can you tell us, we are here at the uh, Cycle Classic, a beautiful oh, annual event. It is one of the, it is one of, it is the, the oh, year so opener, it's really, for the, for the cycling um, please, fraternity. How, how was this year's event? Oh, fantastic. I tell you, we woke up this morning and there was a hint of rain, well, more than a hint of rain. It was steaming down um, and you're always concerned. I mean, a road bicycle, etc. cetera. But uh, the, when the rain let up, the, view, the, the weather turned out to be beautiful. And everybody that we have spoken to that had participated said you couldn't have asked for better weather. The, the vibe is you know awesome it's yeah. uh, it's really fantastic but the racing has been fun the racing has been furious um, but more importantly you know we're always glad that people come back safely to a home base as it were uh, and the support has been tremendous so I tell you from a sponsorships and an organizing perspective we could not have asked for for, for a better event Excellent. So now, honestly, I think uh, all your efforts and the, the stakeholders, the exhibitors and the participants, you know, everyone looks forward to this event because it is just such a key um, calendar item. But sir, uh, you must have worked up an appetite during all this. I mean, this, could, this, this has to be hard work. So I would like to prepare something for you. It's going to take a little while, but I want to show you what I'm, what I'm going to make for you today. Cool. So I have this excellent aged filet. This marinated overnight in a secret little concoct concoction, but I'm still going to dry rub it for you, sir. And as meneer of vlees, man. Ek is alles. En as die vlees so lekker, like, ja, nee, verseker. Jochenan, I mean, uh, this looks appetizing to say the least. Um, yeah, I mean, can't wait to, to, to see you go to work. Uh, no, thank you very much. I'm going to make something very special for you. We have some couscous. We have a nice rustic salad. Just to kind of get, get your energy up and get us ready for the week ahead. Fantastic. Is there anything you can't do, sir? Um, I, I can't, I could, I haven't been able to tour your building as yet, sir, so hopefully uh, I can manage that soon. Let's do that. Let's yes. do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Johanan. Thank you so much, Mr. Clerk, and enjoy your day, and uh, kudos to the team. And you. Thank you. Boom. Please, and please do, do come back for your... I will. <laughs> You know it's a good day when you run into a Dehuda. <laughs> Patrick, how are you doing, buddy? I'm well and you, man. It's nice to see you guys. Lekker, no, it's, it's really good to see you too. I mean, you're, you're in your element as usual. We have the cycling community out, beautiful weather, kids having fun, adults catering. Couldn't ask for more. It's as good as it gets, huh? Yeah. And I mean, what a fantastic comeback for the event after a year of absence and uh, all the drama that's gone. I don't even want to say the name, right? Yeah. But it's wonderful to be back here. It's wonderful to be back in Zoo Park. It's nice to see you guys on board. No, for sure, dude. And you know, just to be to be able to get out here at, at like 3 a.m. set up, you know, it's 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 a schlep sometimes, but never for you, Oaks. No, I mean, you know, big shout out to the guys behind the scenes. When you say three o'clock in the morning, there's a massive team that makes this thing happen. I mean, whether it's Marshalls, the barrier people, the branding guys from Nedbank, the press, yeah. you guys, us, the Nedbank, the internal crew, it's a massive, massive operation. And everybody's up like bright and early and there's not enough coffee to get the ball rolling, but everybody pulls it off somehow. It's a passion, man. It's a passion. So, Patrick, how was this year's uh, Cycle Classic for you? It's good. Huh? It's wonderful to be back. I think it's left a massive hole in the calendar last year. Lots of events obviously being cancelled for, for, for various reasons, for obvious reasons. Yeah. But it's wonderful to see the year back in swing 2022 has started with a bang for the cycling crowd. We had the Nationals last weekend, which was fantastic racing. Epic. Really, really good racing today as well. The Tour de Vintage next weekend. So the calendar is alive and well and it's wonderful to be back. It's always a privilege to be part of the Nedbank crew and to be on the mic with these people. There's always there's good gears here. Hundred percent. I was just about to say. So Patrick, you know, Gears wouldn't be complete without 
a lekker braaikie yes, and a lekker steakie. And, and look at that, I mean, that is a fantastic looking piece of meat, that. So it's on the small side, but you know, <laughs> it's got budget constraints. You know? <laughs> no, but that, I mean, that's a tidy piece of meat and it looks nice and tender, it looks juicy. What are you making? So I'm going to do, today I'm doing a nice uh, fillet, this thing marinated overnight in my little special kind of little sauce, because I wanted to be, have a real kick on the outside, nice and um, juicy, medium, uh, medium rare on the inside. I'm gonna let it rest for a bit. Then I got a rustic salad that I had the ladies um, chop up while I was. Did you see my mouth watering. Hey, dude. <laughs> and then of course a bit of couscous, you know, just, just for Wonderful. some. Wonderful. Yeah. Couscous. That's very healthy. I mean, I exactly. would have expected fries, you know, but I mean couscous is good. And I'm surprised. I mean, you're you're a master on the mic in your in your space, and you're a master on the grill as well, by all accounts. Thank you, buddy. But like, uh, you know, you you you. That's high praise coming from you. But I really hope I pull it off. So when you come back down, come have a piece of meat. I really hope awesome, it lives man. up to the challenge. Good chatting to you guys, and it's wonderful to see all of you. Thanks. For likewise, you likewise. Today. Yeah, man. So hold this for me while I slam this one down. Cool. Let's see what you're doing here. Yeah. Nice hot coals. Boom. Oh. And you can hear the sizzle. There you go. Ah. Love it. That smells and sounds so good. Yeah. Patrick, wait. When you're brying, because you're, you're a pretty healthy dude, when you're brying on a Friday night, what does your average menu look like? I mean, what, what, do, what do you kind of consider? So, so we, do, we do a clean, we do like a clean menu from Monday to Friday. Yep. Um, my wife is a personal trainer, we kind of yep. in the, we're in the fitness space as well. So Monday to Friday, clean diet, like no, no junk. Yep. And then from Friday, we kick back a little bit. So generally Fridays is burger nights. And then Sundays is the family day. That's the bride day. Yeah, you know. And then it's gonna. It'll be anything. I I, I like to hunt, so I, I I hunt my own game meat. Wow. So it'll be it'll be Kemsbok or it'll be Ilan or something nice like that. Nice and lean. Sometimes I get a nice piece of fillet like what you've got going on, but always like meat. I'm big on meat. Yeah. And then a little bit of carbs on the side. It shows. Some, some potatoes, you yeah. know, and, and 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 definitely some good red wine. And obviously Vintuk Lager is always gonna go down with a with a good piece of meat. So that's the deal at my house. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to coming to experience your like at your house. Love to have you over. Yeah, man. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks, buddy. All the cool, best. Man. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. It's adventure time. With 34 years experience, Pro Camp Gear Rental specializes in the rental of camping gear, building camps for all occasions, right up to full-on glamping. We offer ablutions as well as sanitation services. For viewing, contact Jens at 081-124-8358 or Joch at 081-129-7535. Pro Camp Gear Rental. Real freedom lies in nature, not civilization. Boom. So you know when we when you see those signs, Roberto's wood fired pizzas, you're like, you know, this is probably some guy named Jan who just used who just used Roberto to give it a bit of flavor. But I'm actually literally with Roberto. How are you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for joining us oh, and kudos, much. man. I have some of your pizza. It's phenomenal. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. And we try hard and we're, we're out here on a lovely day today. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a loud fast day. Uh, my guy, so tell us about the, your approach to food, man, because uh, you got, you've been killing it. And, uh, and I mean, the reviews that I've heard so far have been consistently good. What's your approach? What's your approach to pizza, pizza and why did you decide to take this on? Oh, we've got a, a semi-authentic yeah, dough style and we've got a bit of nam flavor in there so we give people what they want, you know, lots of, uh, lots of the, the delicious flavors yeah. and uh, we, we, tr we try and keep it authentic. Nice, nice, nice. So, Rob, today we're out here at the Cycle Classic. You guys have your pop-up. It's, it's going lekker. I mean, you guys are just, you know, moving pizzas. And you're... Full of flour. <laughs> Always full of flour these days. It's not the worst thing to be full of. <laughs> I know I know a lot of people are full of a lot of other bad stuff. But Woody, so I'm also pre preparing something special. I'm going to make a filet, but you probably wonder why I put some water in here. Because I'm making couscous. Oh, so I need to get the, get, the, get the water to a boil before I let my steak rest. Oh, this is a big piece of meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but I think there's a little section here for pizza. Sorry, say over I think there's a little piece that can be used for pizza. Is that a, is that a challenge? No, no, no. We can make it good. Okay, excellent. So we're going to have a what's cooking Roberto's fil uh, na uh, what's cooking nam filet nam flavor nam pizza. <laughs> nam flavor. Roberto, tell me about you and food, my man, because obviously you don't go into the F&B uh, business on a whim. Tell me about you and food. Well, we, 
it was a little side hustle that uh, grew too big. So we we are we are now taking it for uh, 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 on a permanent basis. Yeah. And it's going well so far. We are receiving lots of support, and we are we are blessed that we have a good product. We stumbled upon a good product. Yeah. You, know, you learn learn these things. You don't. We, we've got no teachers in Namibia, so we just learned that learned the stuff on YouTube, oh. and um, a little bit of local help. And we um, we we've got a lot to learn, and we are enjoying it. Excellent, my man. Excellent. So. Uh, when you're not when you're not making excellent pizzas, when you cook, when you're browning for your family at home, what's on the menu? Oh man, we love to make tzatziki, some fresh hummus and pita breads, nice. and, and uh, you know leg of lamb. Either finish it on the on the on the Weber or something yeah. like that, and that's just delicious with a bit of fresh salsa, and it's just epic. So you're like a, a Mediterranean, uh, Middle Eastern, even even a bit of Spanish, you know, a bit of Luzo. Anything that's good. Yeah, anything that's good. No, cheers, buddy. And we look forward, you guys, watch this space. We're going to be doing a Roberto's episode soon. But also, before we leave today, we're going to try the Roberto's uh, What's Cooking Filet Pizza. Absolutely. We're going to organize that. <laughs> cheers. See you guys after the break. Okay, so the dry rub, you know what happens usually when you have a dry rub or a marinade, uh, often stuff that has a bit of sugar in it, you get caramelization and then sometimes a lot of caramelization to the point where it burns. But we're just going to use some, some butter, some little butter that never hurt anybody, just to kind of soften up those crispy edges and then we'll let this guy rest. We're going to let this guy rest. Still beautiful day, you know, um, if I wasn't cooking my own meat, Every year I make a point of checking out the Nedbank Kapana stands because they always come through with the flavor. I might actually enter one day. Oh, no, actually I can't enter because I'm covering it. But um, yeah, hopefully they'll let me judge it and I can chop Kapana like a proper Namibian because yo, with the economy like this, even the Kapana guys are, 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 are tough now, you know. No min there's a minimum order and everything, but yeah. I think that looks good. Camera lady, Irene, how does how does the fillet look? It looks fantastic. Boom! Give us a nod with the camera. Give us a nod with the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So Robert, Robert, Robert comes by. He sees me making some pitas. We had some leftover pita breads and you know a bit of special ingredients, some cheese. So we decided we we're going to make something special for some of the less fortunate people who are around and enjoying today here in the park. But then Robert comes by, sees me out here and decides to throw on a challenge. Robert, what you got for us here? We just made some beautiful breads with our pizza dough. Uh, delicious, crispy, and they are fantastic. Got us brew? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. They're just a bit hot, so oh. you see that? Oh. My man. That is stunning. And you guys serve as like a starter, or oh, this was just uh, playing around. Yeah, playing around. But, but that's we a, have the dough. So. And that's the, we have the dough. Yeah. Whenever you have the dough, spend it. <laughs> absolutely. No, and, and if it, it's for a good cause, absolutely, we will support you guys. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So Raul was kind enough to say, we usually make these pizzas on the braai, but he's going to throw these for us in the pizza oven. Then we're going to hand them out just to some people, give them a little snack, and cheer up their day. Boom. That's what's cooking, ladies and gentlemen.
So guys, you know, since we're having so much fun and uh, we did have a bit, a bit of extra ingredients, we're going to pass these out, uh, not on camera because, you know, we want to respect people, but uh, just to show some goodwill and uh, share the love of food. Boom. Absolutely. Yeah? Can I enjoy it? Lekker. Okay, so while we have the prize giving going on in the background that's streamed live on NTV, we are going to cut up our beautiful filet. We have a hungry crew waiting. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give food to the sponsors, but now I got, I got the crew out here. Just hunger, hunger. All right, uh, cool. So I'm going to ask James over here to hold the, hold the mic for me. Right over here, right near my, right here. Okay. I'm James. Love Hi. You. So we're going to start over there. Don't hate me, the knife is not the sharpest. Okay. Oh, man. I think we overcooked it, ladies and gentlemen. My heart is broken. But there are some people who really like it well done. So let's see how that goes. Getting us some action. Now we're getting to the juicy part. We're getting to the thickest part of the meat. Hopefully we didn't overcook it no it's okay i would have liked it a bit more a bit more pink but okay oh. york is cutting the meats right there i'm gonna let's do it no you can't oh mm. the chef is happy then we have together with him Ethan Lestrange, also oh, it, uh, it is wonderful, my man. Soft, juicy, explosive flavor on, on the exterior. But on the inside, it's nice and juicy. It rested well. Um, just wish, um, yeah, kind of a little bit overcooked, in my opinion. That's my fault. I'll take that. I'll take the blame. Survivors, comments. Looks good. Let me give you an answer after this. And it tastes good. He sneaked the piece, but it's okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So here we just have, you know, we open it up, cut it up, open it up. Just going to see that we still have some nice pinkness in the middle. But um, I'm not Salt Bay. I will never be Salt Bay. But I am Zhu Bay. Okay, okay. okay. We got the drink. I'll just spend it. Ah. In the under 16 girls, 60 kilometers, okay. in third place, okay. a time of 2.02.29, oh, Anka Karl. In second I'm place, Eden Spunderbank, a time of 1.34.17. <laughs> Okay, so just as I'm about to plate, you know, we, we, we cut up the filet, we uh, handed some out to some of the people just to kind of brighten up their day. And I was about to plate for the stakeholders. I see Joni, Joni Schmidt from Terra Events. And I'm like, that's the person who she played. Joni, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Yeah. Joan, you know, your, your, your event uh, business has grown tremendously over the years and I mean, the level of attention to detail, the, the beautiful presentations and just, um, I mean, the levels of flavor and distinctions of taste are crazy. What inspires that? Um, I think it's, um, you know, I always say creativity takes time to come. But eventually you get it and then it's just one, two, three and then, yeah, you put it together. Awesome, awesome. So. I, I, you know, I was struggling. I didn't know how I was going to plate this. I had an idea, but I think, please, show us how you would plate this up for us. Okay, so we got the coos. We got the coos going in. Yes, yes. Yummy dum. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice and healthy. Everything's quite healthy, even the meat. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And then I think we'll put 
Right, so if you return to the number to finish line, the next one. Yeah, go for go for it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I see I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Huh, okay. There we go. You like the salad, I kinda try to play with, you know, diff different uh different sizes, colors. different cuts, different colours. Yes, I love the summer vibes. Nice. Okay, okay. What do you think about the fillet? You know, it's. I think it's just the way it's supposed to be cooked. <laughs> just right. Stand by for a second. Grab yourself something to drink. Keep eating your food. We're going to be handing out those. Lovely. Oh, protein heavy. I like it. I like it. Yes. If you can grow it and you can hunt it, you can eat it yeah. as much as you want. Okay. Boom. And you know, I also brought some pineapple along because I thought it'd be a nice offset for the for the fillet. What do you think? Are you going to put some on or? Uh, yeah, maybe at the top. The bowl's a bit small. Hello, my name is But it's a poke bowl vibe. Yeah, it's a poke, poke bowl, bowl vibe. I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah. So okay. this is your cycle classic meal? Yes. Yeah. This with meat. Ah. Boom. Show it off. There we go. Love it. Okay, Joni, you're invited to taste it. Let's, let's tell us what you think. If it tastes bad, don't tell, don't tell them. Okay, I won't, I won't. But I'm sure it's good, I'm sure it's good. Yes, but what else can we expect from the show? Mmm. Mmm. And the filet, you gotta, you gotta tell me about the filet. I put a lot of love in there. I, 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 I massaged it for three days, you know, I sang to it. I told it my hopes and dreams. Ooh, that's a bit big. Yeah, oh, must, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, yeah, that was the plan also. Because, you know, you want people just to have, it, have nice little uh, bite-sized scoops. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I can cater to Terra Africa event? Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Totally. Awesome. Cool. Joni, Thank thanks so much. And we look forward to seeing uh, what, you, what you're up to in future. And hopefully we can join you on uh, one of your events. Awesome. See you guys. Cool. Ciao. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been it for my Rene cooking. I might have, <laughs> sorry, my, my apologies. What's cooking here at the Ventuk, at the Ventuk Cycle Classic. I'm sorry, it's so hot. Yeah, we had a great time. The food turned out amazing, as you can see. And yeah, we just had a good time. So please, tune in next time. We'll be back. Uh, we're not sure where the next event is because we go with the flow and we see where it's cooking and we serve it up to you hot and fresh. See you next time.